It's hard to pinpoint what the most nauseating thing about She-Hulk is. Is it the agenda of rage against men existing, implying that they're all predators, or, or is it the pointless, wasted cameos, and the weird wackification of characters that used to be serious? Or is it just, just the cringe comedy that's absolutely unfunny, culminating in a twerking scene with someone called Megan the Stallion, who I have no idea who that is, and I'm no longer interested in finding out? Uh, or is it Jamila Jamil, who is one of the most obnoxious, left-wing, diversity, blah, blah, pride, blah, blah, pundits on the internet, it's probably all of the above combined. But, hey, at least Jamila Jamil's put her foot in it and is now getting cancelled. How fun is that? All it took was accidentally misgendering someone and then expecting everybody to change their lives to suit her not making a mistake like that again. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. And if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Thank you very much. Alrighty, let's head over to the Daily Wire since they seem to be the only ones who have been active in the 12 hours since most of this news broke, although this one is actually a couple of days old. Quote, obey our cisgender ally overlord Jamila Jamil, what a stupid name by the way, gets attacked for misgendering Twitter user not apologizing. Yeah, I really don't like that name. I'm sure there's a reason for it and you can call me a whatever for, for thinking it sounds silly, but it sounds silly. It's like calling someone Jiminy James <laughs> or Billy Bill or Willy Will. Please don't call me that. Anyway, avowed leftist Jamila Jamil got in big trouble with trans activists <gasps> when she refused to accept responsibility for misgendering someone on Twitter. Did you know that it is not your responsibility? It's actually okay to misgender people. It's fine. It's not your fault if you think that they look like a woman or a man based on your accumulated knowledge of the human race. That is a fact. It all started when the actress got into an argument with someone, well that's pretty much all that Twitter is there for, and then called them a woman in her response, even though that person identified as non-binary. Oh God. Jamil used a non-apology. Well, we're used to a lot of them recently. Thank you, Ezra Miller. Saying sorry, but also placing blame on the Twitter user for not clearly indicating preferred pronouns. Well, I don't know about you, but my pronouns on Twitter are no way. Or maybe I changed it to not happening. In any case, if you can't tell what I am, you've got a big problem. Quote, I accidentally misgendered someone who was rude to me on here because I did not know they were NB. I instantly corrected myself, but nobody reads your bios, people. Please include your pronouns in your name on here to prevent misunderstandings and offence if it's important to you. You know, I did the silly voice, but actually I agree with that. If it's important to you, you should do that. Because the alternative is Twitter coming in and forcing your pronouns onto every account. And if they do that, then uh, they are in big trouble. They will lose a lot of users. And it will just be the leftists and the bots. Actually, maybe that's not such a bad thing. No, nah, it's probably a bad thing. A lot of people need to use Twitter. Whatever, I'm thinking out loud. In a follow-up, she continued, Obviously sorry for making this innocent mistake. But if we don't do more to prevent this mistake, it will likely keep happening, which is bad for everyone. Put pronouns in your names. I've just done that with mine. It took two seconds. Yeah, all right, whatever, right? So, I mean, this is one of those cases where it's like woke on woke crime. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's wrong. She's wrong for, not not for misgendering someone. I'm sorry, I refuse to accept that that is something that is con that can be considered morally wrong. Somebody's moving the goalpost of biology, right? And we have our entire accumulated knowledge as a human species for 20 or 30,000 years, right? We do not need to be suddenly changing things like this. And as I've said many times in the past, and I'm sure others have said as well, if you dig someone up that died 100 years ago, there's no way they can fake their gender. Sorry. Followers were not happy with Jamil centering the argument on herself and blaming the non-binary person for her mistake. And that's where Jamil is wrong because she has done something that has annoyed the people that she wants to follow her. 
She made the bed. She decided to be a ridiculous, crazy left-wing lunatic. Now that she's pissed because the ridiculous, crazy left-wing lunatics are mad at her for making a mistake. Now, the problem here is she's pretty bulletproof because she is also part of a marginalized group because she's not white. So there's not a lot that people can actually do to her about this. So she obviously knows that she doesn't have to apologize and grovel like a lot of people do. So she didn't. What she did that is the big mistake is just throw it back on the people who are yelling at her for not putting their pronouns in their names. Now, screw pronouns. I think I've made that abundantly clear. However, if you care this much about something like that, then you probably should put it in your name because she is right. Nobody reads your bios. Nobody does. And if you do, then you are an overly sensitive type who has far too much time on your hands. Anyway, here's the uh, angry reply. Instead of just saying sorry and promising to do better, you're asking trans folks to do extra work so you don't have to? Yes, do it if you care that much. I don't care. If you don't have them in your name and you don't have them in your bio, I mean, I, I'm not gonna check your bio. If you don't have them in your name, I'm not going to acknowledge them. I might not acknowledge them at all. Anyway, that's, you know, the way I see it. This is just gross, and I've been a fan for years. Do the actual work instead of blaming others. Work? So you got to read everybody's bio before you reply to them on Twitter? That is not what Twitter is supposed to be. That is not how that platform works at all. It's a bunch of angry people firing off comments on each other like, You racist son of a bitch! You don't know anything! Yeah, without thinking. That's that's what it is. It's a stream of consciousness. That's why it's a war ground all the time. You are not going to change that behavior. Quote unquote, dear trans people, Jamila Jamil has issued a decree on how not to be misgendered. Let us now all obey our cisgender ally overlord, another fan said. Doesn't sound like a fan to me. Even people who support the trans movement and preferred pronouns were surprised at the ferocity of reactions on Jamil's feed. The anger on show in this thread is incredible, proof of what a regressive and vicious movement this has become, well said. It is notable how women, even allies, catch so much heat for minor disagreements and innocent mistakes, one person mused. Yep, very well said, very well said. In 2020, Jamil took heat for becoming a judge on the show Legendary, which focused on the predominantly black and Latin... Yeah, I ain't using that word. No, screw you. Latino subculture of drag balls in the leg bot community. What? The Daily Wire reported that the actress announced she was queer just one day after getting called out for appearing on the show. This is what you get when you play the game of diversity politics. You are just inevitably going to end up pissing someone off one day and getting the backlash that you have helped to create. The culture of backlash will come thundering down on you like so much complete and total bollocks. This is a stupid argument about nothing that should even exist. The fact of the matter is pronouns are stupid. Misgendering is inevitable. It is. And if you can't handle it, that is your problem. This is a thing, the great, great mistake of our time is thinking that anybody is responsible for making sure that your feelings don't get hurt. Here's one of my old favorite memes. It's, of course, the Spider-Man scene from the end of Spider-Man 1. Quote, tell me the truth. I'm, I'm ready to hear it. He says... It is nobody's responsibility to dance around the triggers to your traumas. It is up to you to deal with your past traumas healthily and learn to cope with them in a way that won't affect you in later life and you shouldn't expect everybody else to behave or speak a certain way around you. And that is the end of that. Let me know what you think about this ridiculous mess in the comment section down below. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel too and help me to grow. Thank you very much. I'll be back with another video very soon, but until then... See you next time.